Field days typically begin early for red tide research biologists from Florida's Fish and Wildlife Research Institute. Researchers conduct routine monitoring and water sample collection at various locations of red tide impacted areas along the southwest Florida coast. Researchers travel in a specialized offshore research vessel and, depending on the mission objectives, may collect water samples both alongshore and as far as 40 miles offshore. Scientists are interested in collecting and capturing water from various depths. To do this, a specialized piece of equipment called a Van Dorn sampler is used to collect water to bring aboard. The hollow tube is lowered to the desired depth with its cap in an open position. When a large weight is sent down the line and hits a fire mechanism, the cap slams shut, capturing the water to be brought on board. Once aboard, the water is allocated into various bottles. In a typical day, scientists may collect over 100 individual bottles, all needing analysis. Researchers also use an instrument called a CTD to measure the physical parameters of the water. CTD measurements are sent back to the vessel in real time. Scientists can see how the physical parameters change on a display as the instrument is lowered through the water. Information that is collected, such as spikes in chlorophyll fluorescence and or drastic change in temperature or salinity, will help scientists on board target which water samples should be collected. Conducting routine fieldwork on board research vessels multiple times a week is critical in improving our understanding of current and future red tide events.